Hey, hello guys, I just got my Focusrite 2i2 fourth generation. So I just uh, I'd like to show you guys how you can connect this bad boy to your DAW. If you if you never use Focusrite fourth gen, I think this is a very good video for you or any kind of Focusrite, uh, any generation, uh, any any type of of this model i think it will help you to connect it to your daw very well so let's get into it okay so when you open this focus right this is what you see this is how it comes so and i bought these adapters myself this one is i'm going to adapt it with my you see this sign your your headphones monitors I'll insert this here if you are, and then insert my headphones. I'm using Sony headphones. So I'll insert it to this place. That's the first one. Then this place now you can connect two microphones here. One, two. So I've connect I have only one mic for my recording. So I've connected to that place. So it's this side controls. The microphone input levels so that is it then i'll connect my two two monitors i'm using bx8 so if, if i using it, like this small monitor this edifier that doesn't have both left and right you just have one you can just put it in one of them it will still work you 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 will still need another adapter because if it's like this you will not enter you still need this still need this and then you now put it on it it will work but since my my monitors come with side cables i don't need any adapter i'll insert that then i insert the left left that is the left and right i've inserted that so now when i'm done with that the next thing is I'll connect my USB. It comes with a USB. Your focus right comes with this USB that you connect to your focus right and to your system, to your computer. So there's a space for that. Some somewhere here where it's written USB. You connect it. Yeah, it has made some noise. So so people believe that so when, when you connect it you can keep it don't need to say more but always on this 48 volts for for this purpose it's very important the put gadgets so you can put it on safe mode let me even go ahead and teach you these things then this air if you are recording if you are recording for studio you need to off this air you don't want air from the background to be coming in. If you if you on this air and record, you hear sound from the background coming in. So this safe mode. Some people keep it on, but I turn it off and then adjust my input from here, just the way I want. So this this one controls your your monitor, the volume of your monitor. So I can put my headphones here after you connect this or before you even connect you just install your focus right control you just go to google focus right control you download it from focus right website it's free and you install it if you install it correctly it, it, it comes with the drivers you'll be able to see you will be able to see this focus right here you can see it. so you can click on it come to this you can come to you see this. you can set your sample rate 4410 that is best for recording and here buffer size 128 it doesn't take so much of your system power and you still get good recording put it on self mode and then and still there are some settings here too control so you can do your control here or you can do your control of the microphone 
here so that's it so when you connect it you can see that it's working so you come to your settings uh, I, I'm using Ableton I'm using Ableton Live as my DAW you can use any DAW you come to settings other option you come to settings then under audio you come to actual then focus right so if you connected your if, if your drivers were right and you connected it correctly it will land you to this page so now if you play sound the sound will come through focus right the another thing is, is if you are not if it's like, okay let's try to play sound Let's, okay, let's see. The sound is not connected yet because my because my my power my mon, my monitor is turned off. So I'll look it. So but my monitor is on are on both sides. So let me try to play now. So I can reduce the volume from here. Then if it's, if it doesn't play again, you check, you check, you check your speakers. You see whether it's focused right that you choose. I also have Nvidia high definition. I also have his speed speakers. So make make sure this focus right is is the one controlling your your audio. So that will work. So guys, if this video was helpful to you, subscribe to my channel. If you are watching on Instagram, follow my page so that you'll be getting this kind of videos um, every day. Thank you for watching.